this video was a request by uh, Travis Bickle from Brazil so here is the KSMON overview I uh, hope you liked it and uh, make sure to subscribe to all the new for uh, new people that are watching so uh, take care everyone and hope you enjoy the rest of the video hey everyone so today I'm gonna go through uh, the Valentine's Day uh, drop packages um, and also I've got here a KSMON um, five star overview so if I'm just gonna go to over, uh, KS1 over here and you can see here I have a four star already and I have enough shards to get into five stars so uh, I'm gonna level it up very soon let me just turn the volume a little bit down a little bit too high all right so now first of all all right so chaos mon now uh, you can get more chaos mon things um, shards from the fusion event here not event but with the fusion tab so let's exchange our daily five so it says here that uh, five star enhances its skill power so I can't wait to see this let's see this and if you need more shards of a uh, tank German or chaos one just click on uh, of these icons here and it'll show you where to get them all right so let's go back let's go into our star and I'm gonna activate chaos one let's see what it does so it says breakthrough here reach five stars okay now let's see let's have a look what it does general practice skill deal higher damage to target with extra damage rate five percent okay so that's oh uh, oh it has your breakthrough skill damage will be greatly increased so let's click on breakthrough wow what's this so Bantio Blade and this new skill is Breakthrough <laughs> Bantio Blade. So it says it deals 65, extra 65% damage to offensive Digimon. All right. To attack Digimon. Now if you notice the difference, um, deals 260 damage to enemies in a vertical row. Deals 240 here, and this one is 260, so just a little bit higher. And extra 60% damage to a to an attack Digimon and decrease. Now, this skill, the first one, basically, but this is only a one. Like, it's it says here it's for an attack, and on the next skill it says it's for offensive Digimon, right? Which is kind of the same thing, whether it's an attack or offensive. They're both like, attack type Digimons. And decreases main targets 30% defense two rounds. So, decrease is 25%. Now, this one is lower, obviously. Okay, so I use the Digimon heads on his arms to fire flames, dealing damage to a single enemy that reduces his fury by 300. The damage, what's that? I think it's double damage to an attack Digimon will be increased by 40%. Add 12.5 damage immune rate to the front row. Front row Digimon, I think it means. And the next one starts with the third round. Okay, so we'll get a chaos shield. Yeah, we all know this every three rounds. So it just, I this is basically just upgrade his uh, main main skills over here. That's all he did, and he unlocked uh, his passive over here. So make sure you level this up so he can do more damage. And I'm just gonna go and test him out now. Alright, so his battle power is 75,000. Oh wow. 75,000 is more than my uh, Tactimon. He's got Awakened Weapon. Yeah, wow. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to uh, level up his equipment. Like, I'd recommend to level 80 or so if you have enough uh, gold. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is you're going to go to breed and go into your Digimon spirit and here, so if you notice on the normal one you don't have, um, uh, what's it called, you don't have him here, um, Chaos Mon, if you click on the bottom right you see here, Fusion, click on that and it shows you here, uh, you see, Friendship and Darkness, click again and he hides it, he goes back to normal Digimon, so what I'm going to do is use all of these to level up Chaosmon. Alright, nice. 
and then I'm gonna do the same with over here because I won't be using Dark Tyranemon, so there's no point. I did this earlier, but I'm just gonna finish them again. So that's great. Alright, awesome. I just realized that uh, oh, what's going on? Ah, no, no, okay, that's fine. It says here, like, uh, see the top here on the Chaos Money has like a little red icon, but I already used all of my. There's nothing else to give. Anyway, maybe it'll bug. As always, so let's go back and let's put him on my team. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Now, oh, I just I just noticed that if I put him on my team, his battle power goes up. Did you guys notice? His battle power is uh, 82,000, and if I change again right now, and if you look, so from 82,000, its battle power is 76,000. Huh, interesting. Vaccine medium stage. All right. Oh, by the way, guys, there is a skin that's going to be available soon, which I think you can buy with diamonds, I'm not sure, or event, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. So, Chaosmon, now I need Bar Hawkmon for this, Techmon, Pandamon, Skewmon. Alright, and also, I have leveled up his soul, by the way. No, where am I going? So his uh, his light battle soul is fully active, probably maximum, should I say? And let's go on to doo -doo -doo, let's go on to battle. No, 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 I leave, no, I leave. So I'm gonna die and leave. So let's try to see someone over here. Now I'm gonna click on wipe out first to see uh, the roses, guys. If I can get some, no. The Valentine's gift packs, there you go. So, Valentine's Day, you usually get tons of gold, gems, and stone chests, stamina potion, and master shard. So, I'll open that soon, but first of all, let's uh, see uh, Chaos Mon in action. Now, bear in mind that I haven't really leveled him up very much, so his attack is not very high. But uh, Chaos Mon would work really great in a team, especially because of the Fury Decreaser. And he attacks Digimon in a vertical row, similar to uh, Kabuterimon. So if you have Chaos Mon, you don't need Kabuterimon anymore, unless you want like all more Fury control in your team. Then yeah, go for it. You see, damage immune. Oh my god, I didn't kill him. Now over here, what should I do over here? Alright, go on see German. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna kill me there. So, let's see this now. Nah, his damage for uh, attack is pretty low. Yeah, pretty low. But once you do level him up and he, you awaken most of his fates and he's uh, awaken his equipment, he's going to be very, very strong. And it's a good counter. It's a good counter even to Devimon as well, actually. Because Devimon only does damage to um, attack, extra damage to attack Digimon. And same with uh, Chaosmon. But if they're both against each other, then. Um, Chaos Mon in most cases would win because of his third round, his shield activates. So if I just go into equipment right now, I'm going to Chaos Mon. So you notice that I haven't starred any of these, right? So if you really want to get, make him stronger in, the, in terms of defense as well, just uh, awaken. Awaken again, whichever one you want, you know. His battle power will go up, his defense will go up, uh, in general everything will go up. Where is he? So let's have a look. So 83,000 right now. And then what else can we do here? Level his equipment.
All right, so his battle power now is probably 84,000. So they just gain 1,000 battle power basically. If you level level all these up to 80,000, uh, sorry, not 80,000. I mean, if you level all these up to 80, then uh, his battle power will go up to maybe 90k or more higher. Then again, that's really good because that's just equipment upgrades. And if you actually go to awaken them. That's just gonna go even higher to 95k or more, and especially if you have the rings for this or the digivice. Now, analyst. So let's see who I can equip this analyst. Uh, so Aquilamon, Gromon, Tankmon, Dogamon, Reapmon, Tataramon, Hookmon, Attackmon. So in my case, I think I will keep this ring for a uh, Gromon when I unlock him. I would like to use him, but uh, yeah, I better fucking for a uh, Grolmon. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, that's wow, one million gold. Another one, bet problem. Oh my god, it's another million gold, guys. It's like three gold right there. And oh yeah, guild instance. I got second place. Oh, you know, let's just claim all of them. Oh my god, oh my god, that's like 4 or 5 million gold right now. Oh great. So let's just go back and upgrade these again. Maybe should I should upgrade Bagramon. Ah, he's too weak right now. Fast upgrade. You know what guys, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go all the way to eighty. Yeah, let's do oh oh my god, my my gold, my gold. Oh wow that you notice did you notice that guys like how much gold I had like and just to upgrade to from to seventy to eighty that took like three million gold I think or two point eight. That was quite a huge amount of gold actually. This is why I kinda recommend it to go only to uh, eighty until you have extra gold and slowly uh, level up everything else. Now I'm gonna go back into back over here because I want to open this this Valentine's Rose. So we got Vitality Potion, small. Now ten Vitality Potion for uh, for nothing. To be honest, it's actually really good. So I just wiped out ten times there, and let's see how much we get out of that. Up ten times we got two Valentine Roses. And if we open them, so we got General Shards, Bar Chest. I get gold out of that. That's that's really useful actually. Right, nothing good from there. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it at that. All right, guys. So uh, leave any comments you have down below. Uh, what do you guys think about Chaos Mon? Uh, if you use him in your team, and if you're planning to use him, I suggest you like you try to stack up your shards of um, Leomon and Tangdramon. I mean, I have the five stars already right now, and I'm actually very low on. Uh, Shards of uh, Dark Dramon and uh, Liamon. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take some time to get these now, but slowly, slowly, you know. Chaos Mon is like a, it's a long term investment, it's not like a, something you can do straight away. That's why you have to like level him up slowly and slowly like that. But since I had him at five stars, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, an example uh, so then again guys we're gonna go over this again and just quick one to recap oh my god uh, alright so his battle power I have right now is 84,000 he's a five stars yeah and I don't have anything awakened yet and only one fate active so that's the battle power with just one fate and if you have all of these fates active his, uh, his digivice and his ring active as well that, that would be a huge amount of a battle power increase. And don't forget to do the fusion every day if you have it because you, you don't really want to pay 10 diamonds because like I said it's a long term investment so whether you pay diamonds to do it very fast then you, you run out of these shards and then you have to wait so there's no point waiting when you can just instead of paying with diamonds just slowly do it each day 5 shards that's more uh, reasonable like like this 
all right so that's all for now guys uh take care and make sure to subscribe leave any comments you have down below and i'll get back to you whenever i can